OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. And I am coming at you, OMG, with a Finance Friday. With a dang Finance Friday. This will be the first one that I have posted in all of 2023. And I have really, really missed them. I haven't posted a Finance Friday all year for lots of different reasons, but none of those reasons matters. The only thing that matters is I plan on bringing them back in 2024 because really mainly because they help hold me accountable. <laughs> I really fell off the wagon with a lot of things financially in 2023 and nothing in like a terrible way or anything like that. But I just wasn't tracking my spending as much as I was before. Um, I didn't finish out my savings challenge, which is really a bummer, but I did some months here or there and I just didn't finish it out. And so anyways, I wanna start bringing you Finance Friday videos again where we're gonna go through our savings challenge and um, monthly cash stuffing. Another video that I had didn't film at all in 2023 was um, a recap video. I used to do like a monthly, monthly recap video of couponing and I wouldn't do it every month and I don't plan on doing it every month in 2024, but I would do it like once a quarter where I would just go through a month's worth of couponing at every single store. I tallied up all important numbers to me and I just shared that with you and I always found those videos so helpful and I know a lot of people found those videos really helpful as well. So I plan on bringing those two things back in 2024. So if you are new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. So on my channel, you will find 98% of the content is couponing related where we're going to stores, we're finding deals for the week. I teach a lot about couponing, not just showing you what the deals are, but I teach a lot about drugstore couponing, the different quirks at each drugstore and all of those types of things. Um, rebate shopping, all of that good stuff. But I do feel like the Finance Friday fits hand in hand with the couponing because although it's a little different, uh, we're not going to the store and saving money and getting great deals. We're just actually making fi actual financial goals and saving money that way. So I'm gonna bring them back. And then, like I said, I'll bring back the monthly recap video. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna count my savings challenge for 2023. Again, did not finish it. I just, I wasn't consistent with it. There was couple months where I actually stuffed my cash and did my savings challenge and then there were months that I didn't and then I would maybe remember and I would stuff so I don't think I have very much I'm hoping I have a thousand dollars my goal was to save I think five thousand um I do have savings otherwise like I said it wasn't like 2023 was a terrible financial year for us it, it actually was the opposite I just did not keep track of things and it's super important to keep track of things otherwise you will overspend in categories a um, couple of things that I was really really good at in 2023 that I haven't been good at in a few years and feel free to share anything with me like where you feel like you had a great financial win in 2023 um, we've always transferred money into our savings account it just is an automatic transfer and two or three years ago I mean that would hit we don't transfer that much it's like a hundred bucks a hundred bucks twice a week um it would hit two or three hundred dollars and I'd be transferring it back to the checking account so I could spend it I didn't even touch it I don't even touch it it just builds up so that is awesome so that was definitely a win so even though I didn't complete my um savings challenge of stuffing the cash envelopes that I wanted to do 
I didn't touch that money. So that was really awesome. And I did get a lot more focused in 2023 with um, doing some investing. And I should say, I'm not giving financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I am not licensed to give financial advice. I am simply sharing with you what we are doing. And I just have a little brokerage account that I invest my own money in. I pick my own things that I want to invest in. I mostly do um, um, index funds and it did really well. <laughs> so I had some good things happening financially in 2023. Uh, I just didn't stay on track the way I wanted to. So we're going to cut over to the kitchen table. We're going to count my savings challenge for 2023 that I had started and never really finished, see how much I have, and then I'll talk a little bit about my cash envelopes, a couple of things I'm changing this year, and I'll be bringing you one of these videos once a month because that's our pay structure. Some people get paid once a week, some people get paid bi-weekly. I get paid once a month, basically. We get paid once a month. So I'll be bringing you one of these videos once a month, and then I will also start throwing in probably about once a quarter, a recap of all couponing numbers. So, all right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's get to counting some cash. All right, let's open this savings challenge uh, from 2023 and see how I did. So, you may recall if you watch the videos, it doesn't matter, but I had this box with envelopes and most of the envelopes are empty <laughs> because I didn't do it. I feel like my camera is not straight. Is that straight? I don't know. Anyways, this is what I did stuff. All of these are unstuffed. Uh, so let's see what I saved. It looks like I had extra money at some point and threw a little bit extra in there. And then I also was going to do, I think $23 every week. For 2023 that I stuck in here um, which I didn't do every week so we're gonna count that too and see all right let's just open these envelopes and then I will show you 140 I will show you um, what I'm gonna do for 2024 I have two savings challenges I was just gonna kind of do the same thing where I had these envelopes, but I decided to switch it up just to make it, I don't know, a little more fresh, maybe so I would get a little more excited and make sure that I did it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I will show you what I'm gonna do. Let me know if you did a savings challenge for um, 2023 and if you've already completed it. All right, so like I said, hopefully I have a thousand dollars. I'm hoping. says 80 but I put a hundred in so eh, that's a nice must have had a little extra or something I don't, I don't know that's the fun of kind of putting them in envelopes you never remember like maybe what you did one all oh, this must have been two weeks together because I only put 106 instead of 126 so that was the extra 20 so never mind I did not I'll set that extra aside this was 122. And I just kind of broke my envelopes down. This is kind of like my version of the 100 envelope challenge where you save $5,050. I just broke mine down um, so that by the end of the year, I would save um, around $5,000 versus just starting at number one and then going up to number 100, which is the easy way to do it. All right, 50, 70, five, and three. Okay, so that's all my envelopes that I did stuff. Just curious, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. All right, I stuck 12 of them. And then what do I have extra here? 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's count all of this and see if we save at least a thousand dollars. I have a piece of paper just to write this down. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. All right, so twenty-four and ones. Fives, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, definitely have more than a thousand dollars. Let me go get my. Let me grab my iPad so I can add this up. I mean, I could do it by manually, but we'll just do it this way. It's quicker. Eight, two, fifty, two, sixty. 50, 20, 24. Okay, so I saved $1,404 in my envelopes. My goal was $5,000, uh, but I didn't reach it. I already explained that, but I did save $1,404. The good thing about me is when I do put it in those envelopes and stash it away for my savings challenge, I don't think about it. I don't touch it. So even though I didn't complete it, I never got into any of it. So that's nice. All right, so 1404. Now, if I would have put away $23 for 52 weeks, I would have saved 1196. Let's see how many weeks I actually did with that one. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're gonna do with this, some of this money right now. I'm gonna show you my 2024 savings challenges okay not too much in here all right let's separate this out so i should just have ones and 20s in here no i didn't do this probably only the same amount of time i did my savings challenge envelopes. All right. So how much do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. <clears throat> and then 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. Okay. So $11.96, if I did it every single week, I saved $184. So $184 is better than nothing. So we have $184 in that one and $1,404 in that one. So I got $1,588. Okay, okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm definitely not mad at that. All right, let me show you my, what I'm gonna do for um, 20... 24 savings challenges. I contemplated just doing the same thing here um, and just replacing these envelopes since I never, like rewriting them since I never wrote anything on here. Um, but instead, I decided to do something totally different. So I went on Etsy and I just bought a couple of pages. They cost me, I think a total of $3. You don't have to buy anything to do a savings challenge for sure. But I have a, I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way. Let's look, let me look in the camera and see. <laughs> it's the wrong way. 
I bought a Save 20, 2024 dollars in 2024, and there was lots of different ones available. This one goes by the week, so like week one, and it literally lists the day. Um, so it starts on the first, and it says twenty five dollars, and then it goes. And the the largest week I can see is fifty five dollars. I think, yeah, and it kind of like goes up and then it goes down. So you go from like 55 to 30 to 25 to 45. So anyways, I just thought this was a cool one. So I'm going to do this one. And I do want to try to save a little bit more than just 2000 in cash. Um, so I purchased another one that had like eight. Um, there were all different ranges. Five, save 500, save 1500, save 2000. So I'm going to do the save 3000 in 52 weeks. And it just gives you amounts to color in. So these are the two I'm going to do. And my hope is that maybe I'll print this one out again and redo and save 2024 twice. I don't know. I don't know. But this is what I have planned for right now. So I'm going to grab my binders and I'm going to show you just a little bit of what we're going to do with a little bit of the savings challenge money. And um, just show you maybe a couple of changes that I made with my cash stuffing binders for 2024. All right, so I still have my two binders um, that I'm gonna keep using and I didn't do my savings challenge through the whole year and I also didn't do stuffing these through the whole year. And this is where I just wanna keep better track. Number one, I wanna be tracking all of, all of our spending, period, um, because when you track things, you just have a better handle on it. And number two, I want to make sure I'm putting money away in my sinking funds for the things that are upcoming. Sinking funds are just basically short-term savings for things that are coming, but you want to save for them ahead of time, like my car insurance is due once every six months, so I like to save for it. So anyways, um, I don't have, like I just did pull some money out of the bank, which I put some money in fun. I'm not really putting a lot of, I'm not gonna put a lot of money in here today, but pretty much all these are the same, except for I did add um, one for subscriptions, because I'm trying to get like super intentional about my spending, and I do have, um, I didn't ever save for this before, I just let them come out. I have a couple of subscriptions like Amazon Prime, um, I have Dropbox, I have, a, an app that cost me, I think, $30 a year that I'm not sure I'm going to keep or not, but that's due in June. Anyways, I want to put some money in here today. And then this one is like my more long-term savings, saving for Christmas, saving for things like that. Now, I'm going to empty out Christmas. I only had $200 in here. I'm actually just going to empty that out because I used that money for Christmas and never took it out. That's the other thing. Like I told you, I've mentioned this several in my cash stuffing videos before. The one thing I'm really great about is if I got it in cash and I stick it away, like I just forget about it. I don't spend it. I, I just am so used to being a cashless spender that I don't even think about the cash. So even though I didn't save every single month in here, like I have a gifts Thing. I bought gifts all year long. I should have been taking money out of here and I didn't. So we're going to empty most of my gifts. Um, and I started a new sheet for this one too. So it says I have 789 in gifts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 70, not 70, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 85, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to take $600, I think, out of gifts. Three, four, fifty, five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm going to leave fifties in here. All right, so that should be one, two, three, four, fifty-five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-six. All right, so I'm going to take that out. I'm going to start fresh with $189. For the new year, I do have a couple of birthdays coming up in January. 
And that's what I use my gift money for is anything I have to buy gifts for other than Christmas. I think everything else is good. I do have a little bit of money in my car tabs, which won't be due until June. Car insurance is going to be due in February. So, all right. Oh, I did make, I made two new binders and I didn't have any stickers. So I just made labels with my Cricut. Um, Viv and Donna, one thing I'm going to start saving for that I was not, pre I did not prepare for. Um, and man, if you have little, little kids, I would recommend if you're able to start saving for this stuff now. <laughs> I have a folder for Viv and I have a folder for Donna. These are going to be for things like sports fees, um, warm up outfits they have to buy. Viv went to band camp this year. Uh, Viv went to her first homecoming dance this year. None of that I had saved anything for. Thank heavens we had the money. We could pay for it. It didn't hurt us at all. But I would like to be more prepared. Um, Donna had volleyball this year. That was $150 fee to the school that I didn't have anything set aside for. So I'm going to start setting aside money for things like their sporting I'm also thinking about, man, senior pictures will be here before I know it. Those are costly. Open house is going to be for here before I know it. They're going to be graduating. I don't even want to think about it. But I'm going to start putting money aside every single week for that as well. So, all right. So now that I have this money out, I am going to add, I have a yearly subscription. I think it's Dropbox that's coming out in January. So I'm going to set some money aside for subscription. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do 200 and I'm going to do it in 20s, 20, 40, 60, 81. Okay. So I'm going to take 200 and set that aside for subscriptions so that I cover that January expense. And it seems like I wanted to put money somewhere else, but I can't remember. Anyways, um, so I got a little bit filled there. I think actually my car insurance is due in February and I only have maybe half of it saved. One, two, three, 54, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 5, 30, 5, 50. I have 550 in here right now. Let's add... I have one more month to save. It's usually about a thousand dollars. And yes, that is with no points on our license at all. No accidents. <laughs> Car insurance in Michigan. No teenage drivers at this point. It's just me and my husband. We don't even have fancy cars. And that's what it costs for six months. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to add 200. So I took 800 out of Christmas and so 550, 650, 750. All right, so January pay, I'll have enough. What's the date? 12, 29, I have 750. Okay, all right, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with the rest of this, but there you go. We counted our savings challenge. I have a plan for the new year. Uh, I have this extra money that I did save and I'm gonna figure out exactly what I wanna do with it. Um, and that's it. I hope this inspired you to start a savings challenge for 2024. I hope you follow along as I do my monthly stuffing of my savings challenges and my monthly stuffing of my sinking funds. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much and I'm gonna see you again soon. Bye.